morning it is now super project day today we're gonna start it off it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a, a fun-filled day but today uh, priority number one as I as I as I live and breathe here today in my office is to finally rearrange um, everything that's obviously been uh, missing so what I'm more than likely gonna do finally now that I have uh, enough time I'm gonna drill holes I'm gonna drill holes in here and then have all these cables run through there and into the PC Okay, um, my, my options are running uh, a little bit low um, because I moved, uh, I moved um, that table back here. Now that that outlet right there might be too far for this PC that's gonna go here. So what I'm gonna have to do is I am going to have to have a like I'm gonna have to attach a power strip up here so the wires don't hang too badly out of here which isn't necessarily a bad thing i just need to figure out which uh power strip is going to be the easiest one to attach the last thing i want to do is i want to poke holes through all this and then not have it the other thing i was thinking about is maybe we get one more of those and maybe we won't have to do that much wire management because they'll be hidden behind that so i grabbed the zip i grabbed two zip ties and then i tied them here and that's, this is ultimately gonna be the only wire that's exposed because it's gonna go like around this area and then this is gonna be blocked off obviously by some shelving. I've set up the monitors the way that I want them. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mark spots under the, under the tripod that goes here, under this stand and then under this stand and then under this stand and that's where the cables are ultimately gonna filter. In through. So I'm gonna mark one here, one here, one here. So I've, I've marked it with tape where I want the hole to be and since all the cables filter through this little hole, I figured that if they all come out this way into here, under the table all the way through, it'll make it better. So I've, I've, I've marked it to the, to the left of this or to the right if you're facing it. Uh, right there, that's what I'm gonna do with the holes. I obviously can't hold a drill and I didn't bring a tripod. Uh, Liv, my daughter, is gonna be my camera help for today, she'll be the one holding the camera as I drill the holes. Let's get to work right. Okay, you can come closer and live. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a larger piece of paper over the area in which I'm gonna drill, so, you know, to prevent splintering. Okay. Luckily, I can still see that this is the access point in which I wanna do because the tape where I marked it can still be seen through it. Same thing here, then I'm gonna mark it. Done. Let you take out the bottom one so it's smoother. Done. Take out the bottom one. And then last but not least. There's like paint on this. Okay. Paint? Yeah. Paint, can you believe that? Mm. Mark it, peel it, remove it, seal it, and now we're ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a one and three eighths uh, drill. Uh, and, and And it's gonna go straight through here. Liv, are you ready to get up close shots of this magnificence that's about to happen? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, get closer, come on. Closer, closer, closer. Da! Da! All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, right in the... Wait, I gotta see what's under here. Before you drill it. Yeah. You can't drill the stuff that's under there. Nothing? No, we're good. Okay. I made sure. Okay. Ready, set, go. Oh my god. What? That. It's a mess? It's a mess! Whoopsie. Do you know that that would happen? Yeah. Oh okay, it's okay because look, it'll stay here. 
Okay, now I got an idea. Ready? Mm -hmm. Watch this. Well, obviously we're gonna have to make way for this and then we're gonna throw it out. Luckily we kept the garbage can near us, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Mom, it, Mom would have gotten mad, huh? No, I don't think so. No? Mom's cool? I don't think so. Okay, now, get a close up of this. Move Yeah, just move, yeah, peel it. Voila. Little to zero splinters. Nice. Do I take it off and put it in the garbage? Yep. All right, this time, Liv, uh -huh. since we don't want to make a mess, uh -huh. what I'm going to do is I am going to create a barrier of walls. See? Mm. Should we put another wall on this side? Hmm. What do you think? Why? Because it has to fall. Nice. Good thinking. Because it has to fall in there. Good it thinking, has to fall princess. In the garbage can. All right. Here we go. Ready with the camera? Yes. One, two, two three. three. Crazy. Did you see it? <coughs> okay. Now oh. our wall. Yeah. Now give me the, the garbage can. Thank you, darling. It was a little bit neater, but it mm -hmm. still got a lot of stuff out. Mm -hmm. So we gotta figure out a better system, I think. Test. If this goes through, we're good, because this is gonna be like the thickest or the biggest thing that has to go in. Already? Okay. Yeah, you got it. Oh. Uh oh. It's okay. There you go. Got it. It fits! High five. Um, a tiny little bit of a problem. Obviously, there, there, there was some splintering. I didn't do it right, so there was some splintering. And I also don't like the, the wood color. It doesn't match this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some paint to the inside of this that we on all the walls and I'm just gonna put it inside of this, inside of that, inside of that. And while I'm at it, I was thinking that maybe I should drill an extra hole from a microphone. That way I don't have to attach the contraption which is a pain in the butt to screw in and screw off and screw in. If I could just have a stationary one right next to the other one, I think it'd be good. The movers didn't bring any of my spray paint. So I ended up lining the inside of the, of the hole with some gaffer's tape. Uh, if you guys don't know what it is, you guys should. It is the most useful tape ever. All right, so I am, this is, ha, this has got to be my personal, my personal, not the best, globally, but my personal and best wire management job I've ever done in my life. Uh, let me show you what I've done. Not only do I have a legend here identifying which which US, which ports go to which device, but I've also have this that does the A, B, C, D, E, so I can know which ones are plugged in where. Obviously, I haven't filled them up. And then obviously over here are just power supplies uh, that, that go here. Obviously, everything is being managed through this, uh, through the through the holes that I made earlier. And from the surface, you can, I mean, if you move this around, from the surface, it looks really, really clean. They all go into the respective holes. I use the gaffer tape so that it looks a little bit uh, darker. The most part is ultimately wireless and seamless. That goes there. I've even put the microphone on the side, mounted there. It pivots uh, rather nicely. I can put it away if I need to. I can shrink it. If I want to, I like the new microphone setup. Okay, so in the underbelly, however, it is a little bit messier, but I have all three monitors here, left, middle, right, all on this one outlet, which obviously ports all the way through. I've wrapped some of the cords a couple of times around this beam. Uh, and if you look over here, I have my PlayStation uh, 4, which I've done a little bit of research. And as long as this, is exposed to obtain some air, I think we are good. This is where the PlayStation is gonna be. I just need to untangle the cord, this my, this controller cord a couple of times, and then I'm just gonna connect it here, and then we're good to go. Update, uh, I love it. I am incredibly, incredibly proud of myself. Um, of the work that I've done. Uh, once this 
Once Judith builds like three more of these, this whole thing is just gonna be blacked out, which means that the entirety of that is gonna look like that. So from this angle, all you're gonna see is that. You know, shelving with cool stuff there. And it's pretty much just for people who walk in and, and, and see it. Because for the most part, what people from my stream are gonna be looking at. Whatever's on that wall and that. So this really doesn't mean anything to anyone. Besides you guys, the vlog gets to see it all. The vlog gets to see the intricacies that I just pulled off, the maneuvers and abilities that I just, uh, I just did. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm quite proud. Now the, the, the thing that I gotta do now is I gotta move this, uh, my Mac to the editing bay station. This whole area is going to be filled with, uh, with, I don't know, camera stuff. Like all like ready to be grabbed camera stuff. All right, and then the final, obviously, stage of this is the the art studio. Not the art studio, but the art section where I'll create my drawings if I ever get around to doing something like that again. Um, the only issue is that this corner doesn't reflect that that doesn't reflect that greatly. So if I had a notebook here, I, w I would like to have some sort of I don't know if, if you guys can see any depth here. Um, okay, we'll do this. I would like to have some sort of con contraption along this wall that would be like an arm. Pretend this is a camera, okay? Pretend. Let's pretend this is a camera. I would like to have an arm that extends over and then, you know, points down and where I'm drawing and then just as easily retracts and then goes back to its place there. Uh, it's an ambitious project, but I think that uh, between Judah and I, we can we can come up with something really cool. But I but I've always wanted like a, a specific section in which a specific section in which I can you know sit down and and, and draw, if anything else. Uh, maybe in live stream if I can, you know, some creative, some some IRL creative on Twitch or something, you know, um, thoughts that I've been having. Anyway. Uh, I feel like this vlog has been nothing but like a setup and I and, and I didn't want it to be this way, but I've spent my entire day, you know, trying to figure it out and making it look as neat as it does and amazing does it look. And it does, it does look incredibly amazing. Uh, in fact, I just uh, finished my first, uh, my first stream on the new setup and I wanna give you guys uh, a, a little bit of a, of, of a behind the scenes look before I close the vlog out and I, I do apologize for it. I don't apologize because I know that a lot of you are super interested in like all this do it yourself type of stuff uh, and I hope that you guys had fun. Um, but uh, once we clean it all up, the, the setup itself looks quite clean if you ask me. It looks really, really, really clean. Okay, but that uh, is only one, if not maybe 10% of the, the stuff that we're gonna do here. We still haven't put anything on the walls. We still haven't uh, rearranged that wall with all of those little uh, bookshelves and, and containers that, that are my, my storage. Um, but I'm gonna end the vlog right here, everybody, tomorrow. We unbox a little bit more boxes and then we have to head into the office and then do a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed the video, please remember not leave with a leave a like. Having said that, boys and girls. And with that said. <clears throat> and with, with that, that said, said. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow, as usual. And as per usual, at the same damn time.